for today's news headlines with 24 News. Philippines, becoming the second fastest growing economy in Asia. Instagram users, barter pictures for free food in a one restaurant in Chicago, USA. Philippine peso weakens value to 11 year low versus US dollar. Hello Philippines and hello world. Christian here, your 24 news reporter. For the first news, Philippines becoming the second fastest growing economy in Asia. Hello, Karen? Hello Christian. The Philippines is the second fastest growing economy in Asia. So so economic planning secretary Ernesto Pernia said the 17th of August that the economy grew 6.5% in the second quarter of this fiscal year. Pernia said the Philippines has overtaken Vietnam and Indonesia's growth rates, which are 6.2% and 5% respectively. Overtaken Vietnam's 6.2% growth and Indonesia's 5% growth rate. Malaysia and Thailand have not yet announced the latest in their economies, but Pernia said the Philippines is expected to outperform them. The Philippine economy is bouncing back from a slowdown in the last three quarters, partly due to increased government spending. Data shows government spending skyrocketed from 0.1% in the previous quarter to 7.1% in the second quarter. Increased output in the industry, services, and agriculture sectors have also made significant contributions. Pernia says the Philippines is on track to meeting its 6.5% to 7.5% full-year growth target. Karen Dabila, reporting here at Manila, Philippines, 24 News Report. Thanks Karen. For another news, Instagram users barter pictures for free food in a one restaurant in Chicago, USA. Some people think that it's rude to use your cell phone at restaurant, and most cases it is, but now eatery is making very unusual offer. But he observed why social media is now on the menu. The delectable is so good in Chicago Bang Bang Pie restaurant, the customers don't really need much persuasion to try a new pie but co-owner David Miller is offering interesting incentive just in case. It looks like we're just giving away free food but actually what we're doing is bartering right. uh, for marketing. At Bang Bang Pie customer who snapped pictures of their order and post them on Instagram or other social media get a free pastry. As long as they can prove they have 500 or more followers. Wow. 101. Okay, great. So what do I have to do? Uh, nothing. What we're going to do is we're going to get you a biscuit. Nathan Michael is a local photographer. He's been posting picture of pies and all other sort of food for a while now. I'm providing them with advertising in a way that is authentic word of mouth and you can't buy that form of advertising. So I think people are really starting to catch on that this is a unique way to get the word out there. Actually, it's kind of thing now. Lots of eatery is bartering food for advertising. Another Chicago restaurant, Trent Sherman, offers free tarts at weekend branches to those snapper who can prove they have more than a thousand followers, and in the New York, the restaurant Impellin discourages the use of cell phones unless dinners are posting photos to Instagram. Back at the Bang Bang Pie, we asked Nathan Michael if drinks are parts of the picture. Vodka on the rocks wouldn't be much of a picture, right? Um, it depends on how you taste it. So you have beverages, mm -hmm. you have entrees, correct? desserts, sides, appetizers, yep. whatever strikes your fancy, you'll take a picture and post it. Yeah, it's really just about sharing things that I think people are going to connect with. Now, how can you gauge the impact? Is it like people coming in say, I got to get this pie because I saw it on Instagram? Yeah, uh, that's one way, definitely. Um, another way is actually just to look, to we watch Instagram. We see how many people have posted pictures of you on there. And then that's where Popular Pays comes in. Popular Pays is Chicago's startup that connects people with large online followings to restaurant willing to trade food for a picture. Oh my god. No, that's pie. Do you, when you do that, is there a side of you that is like, sorry that you just ruined the, a picture? <laughs> my stomach is really happy right now. That's what it would say. It could also say that a good picture is worth a thousand bites. For 24 News This Morning, Vicky, Chicago.
I think Bang Bang Bai is cool and great. Take a picture and you'll get a food. Interesting. Another news about Philippines. Philippine peso weakens to 11 year low versus US dollar. Christian, the Philippine peso touches fresh 11 year low against the US dollar, dragged by concern over the North Korea's nuclear threats to the United States. Within the day, the peso weakened to 51.08 versus the dollar. It is the lowest since August 2006, but it managed to pair loses, closing at 50.98 despite the peso's continued to decline. Citigroup's managing director, Joanna Chua, is not worried she explained a weaker exchange rate is a natural adjustment for an economy with the current account, that is gradually shifting to deficit. Chua said it will make the currency vulnerable to capital flows. The Central Bank of the Philippines expects a current account deficits this year, a first since 2002 of $600 million. Lower than city's forecast of $2.3 billion or 0.7% of GDP. We need to watch is how much of the current account deterioration is driven by capital goods imports and therefore hopefully productive investment, right? Uh, versus how much of it is uh, driven by very strong consumption. But Chua remains optimistic. The weaker exchange rate will be net positive for the Philippines. The Philippines have been a net external creditor for years. Uh, inflation is very low, so if the exchange rate weakens, the negative pass-through, uh, the, the inflation pass-through is, is really a very, very low pass-through. It's a very limited impact. City sees average inflation for 2017 at 3.1% and 3.4% for 2018 on the back of higher fuel prices. These are still within BSP's target range of 2 to 4%. It expects the peso to weaken further against dollar to 51.10 by year-end, among the worst performing currencies in the region. Cara Dubid, 24 News Report. Thanks, Cara. That's all for today's 24 News Report. Christian, your 24 News Reporter, from 24 News Headquarters. <laughs>